Very much things are still framed in terms of women as victims of climate change. And this is, this is based on an, the assumption that women are the poorest of the poor, women are uh, much more reliant on natural resources than men are, and women lack the voice and influence in, in decision-making process about climate change. This whole stereotyping needs to shift and, and we should really focusing on gender equality and women's empowerment as a goal in their own right and not because, you know, victims need to be saved. We look at the uh, INDCs, uh, the Intended Nationally Determined Contributions that were submitted by parties to, uh, before the COP in Paris. Um, only 40% of those made an explicit reference to gender. The focus in Marrakesh is, is going to be a lot on how the national uh, processes of implementing or translating the global commitments to national policy and action um, can be done in a gender responsive way. We have a lot of discourses at the national level, at the global level in terms of gender. There are efforts done the last years to integrate gender, but when you go at the local level, when you work with communities, we don't see the change. So at the end we have gender at the theoretical level, at the document level, but when we look at the, at the vulnerability analysis, we don't see any analysis which is really based on very strong gender perspective. So the reality of women or of marginalized people is not changing yet at the local level.